Warren County Sheriff's Office grieves Sergeant Dooley's death. Many outside of law enforcement may have no idea how deep the pain goes. Patrol officers depend on each other to stay alive. And as Nine News reporter Scott Wegener tells us, that creates a special bond most of us will never know. It's always hard when people lose someone close to them. She always stopped by my office with a, hi, Pammy, how are you? It's especially tough inside the close-knit community of law enforcement. They rely on each other in life and death situations. Patrol Sergeant Dustin White and the rest of the Clark County Sheriff's Department know what their Warren County counterparts are going through. In the early morning hours of January 1st, Deputy Suzanne Hopper was shot to death in the line of duty. White was her partner and says her last words were warning him of an ambush. It's a very, very gut-wrenching feeling to know that you've lost one of your family members, one of your co-workers, someone that you work side by side with, uh, share your problems with. Uh, sometimes these deputies spend more time with their co-workers than they do with some of their family members. What separates law enforcement and other emergency responders from most of the rest of us when tragedy strikes, routinely they have to be ready to follow in their fallen comrades' footsteps the very next day. When you come in and you start your shift, you're thinking about what happened yesterday, you're thinking about the loss of a, a, a brother, and it does affect you, and you do think about it, and you are more conscious uh, when you go on calls. And the pain doesn't fade easily. In the department's front office, reminders of Deputy Hopper's ultimate sacrifice are on the walls. A box stuffed with sympathy letters from around the world remains in reach. Many deputies spend their breaks at the cemetery. They just feel the need to do that, to spend time. It's sort of a healing process. Sheriff Gene Kelly says his department will stand by Warren County for the long days ahead. Uh, we will do anything to help you through it. Scott Wagoner, 9 News. And you'll find continuing coverage of the death of Sergeant Dooley online at WCPO.com.